Hello and welcome to Speedkick. We're here with Chris Holman. Thank you very much for having us. No worries. You played an incredible show and the announcer said that you started playing at the tender age of two yes. and already at a very young age you set yourself the goal of becoming the world's best drummer. And now here we are like about 25 years later yeah. and you achieved your goal, you're among the very top musicians in the world. How did you pursue your dreams and uh, what is your secret for success? Uh, for me it's simple, just, just stay true, you know? Yeah. Life's gonna throw you blows, um, life throws you lemons, make lemonade, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And just stay true to who you are, um, always challenge yourself, always strive for something new, you know, something to take it to the next level. Um, I mean, that's it. It just so you, you need know, the bag. You um, stay simple. You know, what should I yep. take it to the car? Or what do you need it? This is Stefan Hannes from, oh, from yeah. Minor. Sorry. <laughs> Peace. No I'll leave it uh, yeah. Sorry. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. Um, just um, stay, uh, stay true, man. Stay true to yourself. You're also a very skilled uh, bass player. Um, <laughs> how does uh, playing bass accomplish your um, your drumming, and how does it how does it like um, help your drumming or your musicianship? Um, it opens you up. It keeps you it keeps you in musician mode. Yeah, you know, uh, I find that a lot of drummers. And it's just the, the nature of the beast, it's, it's what goes on today. Um, a lot of drummers get on stage and they're in drum mode. Yeah. You know, they're in drummer yeah. mode. And it's not about the drums when you're on stage with other people, it's about the team. You know, so playing another instrument, you hear like, you know, I gotta play these notes, I gotta play in time, I gotta play with feel. And it's like, man, the drummer's all over the place. So you think, ah, oh, okay, next time when I go, I'm considerate yeah. of other people. So, really cool. that's just something I like to do. <laughs> yeah. you know, I like to, I play other instruments as well. Other than what kind of instruments? Uh, I grew up playing sax and trumpet in school. Cool. Uh, I also play a little piano. And I played percussion, timpani, all that stuff. So. And one last question uh, concerning your cymbal setup. Hmm. Uh, you set up your cymbals in a very unusual way. So, um, why is that? And does it factor playing very much or um well the thing is i'm short so i like to sit short so i can have a, a center of balance and, and gravity and i don't like my symbols up high now if the symbol is up high me playing the stick will create this angle yeah but if it's low it doesn't create it creates this angle so you okay. tilt it up and i got the same angle okay. you just compensate that's it. <laughs> Once again, thank you very much for this interview. All right. It was cool. a great pleasure. Yeah, man. Pleasure. Hope you have fun here in Austria. Yeah, thanks, man. Appreciate it.